Okay, beautiful people. Guess what we are doing? We are in fact leaving our Airbnb apartment at 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. or whatever you want to call it. This is basically in the middle of the night and I'm going to cruise around Doha. Hello, sir. How are you? At night and see how Doha is at night. All right. Let's show you the world's safest city. Hey guys, Hello. how are you? How are you all? <laughs> so, <laughs> friendly people again. So we're gonna show you how the world's safest city is at night. And I gotta tell you guys that I wanted to do this. This was like a bucket list thing, you know, coming to Doha just to experience how it is at night, you know? So, of course, it's a bit cold now in Doha. Uh, I've learned how to say this, Boha, with a bod in the beginning, so Boha. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cruise around the city. Now, uh, basically, at where I'm staying in my Airbnb. So, we're gonna check it all out. Oh God, I'm kinda excited. Look at this huge building because I've read on the internet that Doha is the world's safest city and that Qatar is the world's safest country. And I've heard that people can walk at night feeling very safe and secure and that the government of Qatar uses a lot of money on security in general. So, security shouldn't really be an issue when you're out and about in Qatar. But of course, we have to find out ourselves if that's true or not. So, I'm an adventurer. I like to go on different adventures. And guys, guess where we are going? We're actually going to Meshereb, you know, that beautiful town. Meshereb downtown that I've... Uh, so boasted about in my videos that's where we're heading look at the traffic at night there's so much traffic literally at night now you know that's kind, that's very cool so there's a lot of traffic at night which I can't really complain about because the more lively it is the better it is Okay, so again, all of these amazing cars. <clears throat> so, we're now walking pretty fast towards, oh, the supermarket is open. It's open at night. You could buy some snacks or something like that. But you know what? Let's save some of that money. My credit card is far from reaching its limit but it's closing in on reaching the limit so let's just not do that so i'm gonna do that classical vlogging style hello sir <laughs> and show my face while i'm vlogging and uh well here we finally arrived at the metro station uh and the time right now is let's see here 0011 that's the time right now so it's almost midnight. And Doha is just as beautiful at night. So this is Al Doha Al Jadida. This is where I'm basically staying. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Qatar at night time, guys. Now, I'm not wearing any, you know, short sleeved or anything like that I'm basically wearing a sweater as you guys can see because yes it is pretty cold in Doha uh, at this season it's winter so it's very very cold and I was surprised that people are wearing jackets and stuff um, in in the desert this is basically the desert and people are wearing jackets and stuff so of course 
we're not wearing any jackets, but it is darn cold, man. It is darn cold. Cold. All right. Continue walking here. So you guys, you guys have seen this in my, in my previous videos, but you never know who watched your videos. So I'm just gonna show it all again. So all I can say is that Qatar is a very, very clean country. So, you know, cleanliness is never a problem here in Qatar. So there it says, to the trains. I don't know how you would say that in Arabic. Ilal Qatarat, Ilal Qatarat, or something like that. Anyways, look at how everything is shining. This is so clean. Now, of course, it's almost midnight, so, well, it is midnight, so everything here is closed. Well, guys, guess what I found out? I found out that the metro is closed. Which is very weird because when I checked Google Maps, uh, although I can't really, you know, rely on Google Maps in countries that have their own metro systems and their own apps, uh, but it said it, it was open. So, well, that's kind of weird that it wasn't. But uh, well, it's half an hour walk to Mashreb downtown, Loha, and. Uh, Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna goddamn walk to Meshirab, downtown Loha. That's right. So unfortunately, we are exiting the metro station here. <clears throat> I mean, it's understandable. It's it's midnight, you know. Like, why would the metro be open at midnight? Although Google Maps just deceived me. I hate you, Google Maps. Google Maps have literally misled me in so many ways you guys can't even believe All right so well we are back out in the street of al doha al jadida what i'm basically going to do now is i'm going to find out where the hell i'm going so basically it says here that it's a 35 minute walk and uh, I'm good with walking, I don't care, I can walk all day long. Uh, but I hope that when I arrive at Meshirab, that things aren't closed there. So, oop, this is a very narrow street. We'll just have to wait and see about what, what the status there is. If people are enjoying right now, or if people are just, you know. Yeah, look, look at this. Google Maps is telling me to go here. Well, you know what? I don't give a damn, I'm gonna follow Google Maps. This is a closed off area. Again, do I care? Absolutely not. Will I continue right here? Yes, I will. Okay, let's check map. All right, so Maps is telling me that I basically should continue. So one thing I've noticed is that in the Middle Eastern countries, in general, right, you have to walk a lot. And therefore, look at our random porch there. Therefore, your best bet is actually to rent a car or get yourself a car. Otherwise, moving here will be a challenge for you. Oh, sir. So... Well, there, there's some life in the street. A lot of stores are open. And uh, there's, there's a pharmacy. So a lot of cars are driving here. And of course, I do understand that uh, since this is a desert and since the heat gets really, really up to the highest degrees in the summer months, people like to go out mostly at night. So that's why uh, a lot of events usually take place at night. They happen at night. And uh, so there should be some fun stuff going on, especially in a place like Mushereb, which is a you know really high-end new area that people want to visit. Okay. Yep, I'm safe to go here. <sighs> so, guys, 
we're in the world's safest city. <sighs> Some kind of car action going on here again. <clears throat> A lot of traffic. Oh, sir. <laughs> he didn't even know I was saying hello to him. Yeah, well, I'm surprised there are, there's a lot of life at night right now. Had this been my home country... Hey guys, how Hello. you doing? Had this been my home country, Norway, well, everything, firstly, is closed off. Secondly, there's not any life in the street. And thirdly, voila, people are having their, their, a good party in there or something like that. Yeah, well, so, my home country, Norway, everything would have been close there would have been no uh life in the streets as, at all so basically it would have been very dull and boring in norway right now at this time of day so again trying this classic this is another supermarket oh yeah this is salam supermarket i just visited this earlier today so again just trying out this classical vlogging style and see how it all goes. Man, there's so many restaurants, especially Indian restaurants here. And there are a lot of Indian people, Nepali people, people from Bangladesh, Pakistan, Afghanistan. They're all here. Hey guys, hello. I'm just saying hey to everybody because man, why the hell not, you know? Nobody's gonna stop at me. Stop for me at the crosswalk, thank you sir. How kind of you. <laughs> yeah, people don't stop at the crosswalks here. That's also a big problem, especially for me. Well, okay, interesting. Now we are arriving at a place. Interesting. This is a very empty place, a very, very empty area. Oh, I'm getting a little tired from walking, but you know, if you don't have a car in the Middle Eastern countries, man, you are doomed. <laughs> you, 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 you're gonna have leg day every single day uh, if it isn't for a car. Hey man, how are you doing? Th thank you so much, brother. <laughs> oh, finally somebody who understands that I'm a goddamn tourist. <laughs> so, a weapon center, some kind of shop. Hey guys, <laughs> a weapon center. So, I visited this center the first time I arrived in Doha uh, because my Airbnb is not far away and this is full of like uh, Indian, Bangladesh and Nepali people just full of them and everybody has a shop of their own where they sell basically uh, where they sell basically SIM cars, mobile phones, old mobile phones and stuff like that that's what they basically sell, and uh, they're full, it's full of them in there. Uh, so that's al Watan Center, to be honest. So I'm just going to pause a little bit here because this is a crosswalk. And um, if you guys, dis guys didn't notice, there's a hell of a lot of traffic here from midnight. So that's why I'm just going to, you know, go the safe route here, guys. So I'll be right back. We crossed that crossing over there we're on the side of a Watton center oh shit i'm gonna cross here as well oh gosh well nobody's on the street right now which is kind of cool i feel special well the cleanliness of qatar is just out of this world man there are a lot of people who are out and about and just enjoying you know the midnight vibes I'm definitely enjoying and I can see my shade up from here I think I think I can see some of the building lights and stuff stuff like that hey guys how are you doing how are you <laughs> it's another shady little street here Museum of Islamic Art it says on the board there oh gosh look at what we are seeing there that, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is the Al Fanar Mosque, which means that we're not far away from Meshereb at all. In fact, that's Meshereb. Wait, no, is it? No, that's not Meshereb. Okay, okay, 
my bad. My bad, we're so far away. <laughs> Gosh, it's uh, getting darker and we still see the Alfanar Mosque here. That looks like Meshereb, but of course it's not Meshereb. I can still see the Fanar Mosque from here. I don't know how my camera angle is looking from this part, but uh, yeah, man, isn't this awesome? So we're arriving somewhere here. Well, let's keep on walking, guys, in the right direction and be good kids. Oh, I was about to step on shit there. Hmm. seeing quite tall buildings which remind me of Boha like Meshera well this is definitely a hookah place where people are coming to enjoy some hookah in midnight yeah well I can see Park Hayat from here now I'm gonna show you guys that right there that building is Park Hayat that one and that I know is in Meshera right now uh, that's like the, can you call it the trademark of Meshereb? I don't know, something like that. But at least we have to continue from here. Okay guys, we're very close here to, to Meshereb downtown Doha. But I think the road is closed ahead, so I have to just figure out another way and I'll come right back. But we're almost there, man. Okay, wonderful people. We have finally arrived. This is Meshereb at night. Look at that. Wow. This is a... This is my favorite place. So I thought, you know what? We have to try it out at night. They all say Qatar is a very safe country. So I had to test it for myself. And see if I can really trust it. <laughs> if people aren't crazy in the streets and stuff like that, you know? I mean, not to be racist or anything. But there are a lot of Indians here and Bangladeshis and a lot of uh, uh, Nepali people, people from Indo-Asia. And the reason I'm saying, I'm, I'm just mentioning this, is actually because when I went to Pakistan and when I've uh, gone to, uh, to the border of India, people are crazy. People are just jumping all over the place and they're coming to you and asking for money and, and, and you know, pushing you here and there. And, really it's just it's just a different experience you know anyways we're here at night oh gosh it ain't that cool look at this building at night man can I switch to my wide angle I most definitely can and the quality didn't drop a bit so how about we stick with this guys huh and if the quality drops I will keep on following this if the quality drops of course we will switch back to regular and it guess what guys it already it already dropped so switch back to the regular lens as you can see that's a massive difference now you can see this big black building with a huge rectangular hole in it we can cross the road of course we can I guess where there's a lot of lights that's where we can go with the wide-angle lens so we can actually go ahead and switch now okay I guess I can just cross because nobody is really no car is really coming here all right, so I guess I can cross this as well. Gosh, man, the crosswalk systems are weird here. Right, okay. So guys, whoops. <laughs> we have arrived at Meshereb. This is Park Hayat uh, Hotel, right here, Park Hayat Hotel huge hotels look at the height of this one it's an absolutely massive hotel so of course Meshereb is a beautiful place now ladies and gentlemen we've officially entered Meshereb it's a huge holes in the ground here wow it took a long it took a long while walking here hello sir how are you so just continue walking my mic is still on me the wind hasn't blown it off okay okay are you guys ready to see this place at night I'm sure people will be working here a lot at night 
Well, this guys is what I came to see at night. This is my share of downtown at night. Nobody's here, only guy driving a huge truck over there. So of course, we are free to roam around Meshereb. It's actually very hot right now. It's not a cold environment. So this was the building I showed you guys earlier in the daytime. Man, I can hear my echoes here. Hello there. <laughs> well, so this is a tram now. We, we tested it out earlier. Oh man, my shirt at nighttime just looks like a different place. Uh, and we can, we can actually capture a lot of shots here. I don't know why Meshereb just reminds me of peace. It's just so peaceful here. And uh, this was the bakery or the cafe shop that I drank cafe, cafe, coffee <laughs> at earlier. So there are, there are people here, you know. It isn't completely shut down. But of course, it's also a residential area for the rich shakes here. It's so awesome because I can hear my myself almost there. We got these massive flags of the Asian World Cup. Wow. Gonna switch to wide angle because I don't think the quality is gonna drop massively here. Damn. I'm walking like in the middle where the tram is actually supposed to go. But who cares? We're here, we're gonna enjoy. Oh, that's an open shop. Oakberry is in fact open right now and people are having snacks and stuff. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah, it's open. Right, well that's cool. Again, we got the flags. We got people, hey man. Smile to people and they always, always smile back. Hey guys, hello, hello. hello, hello. <laughs> wow, massive buildings. Yeah, it looks like a different place at night, most definitely. It's very empty and I love that it's very empty. Believe me, the more secluded, the better. Let's turn to the wide angle here. I'm sure you guys can see it much better than what I can. Hey guys. Hello, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> wow. Huh? Yeah, YouTube, YouTube. That's right, YouTube. <laughs> the shakes, the rich shakes talk to me. Wow, I feel blessed. <laughs> Qatari flag at the Park Hayat Hotel. Oh gosh, this place is so peaceful. Wow. Different lights of the buildings another group of shakes that are walking just there you can see all of this this looks amazing hey guys <laughs> the shakes just don't give a damn about you they're the children of the shakes but they really don't give a damn about you they're like bro we are dads bro we can buy you hey hey I want to find yourself again, man. How are you, man? Uh, oh, hey, how are you, man? Good. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait we're wait, gonna wait, switch, wait, switch, switch. Wait, wait. Oh. Hey. hey! These are Saudi from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, awesome. yes man. <laughs> You're welcome to visit Norway anytime, man. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow. Amazing people, amazing people. These are Saudi Arabian people. I met them actually earlier today, which was awesome. <laughs> oh, this was cool. Oh, it was just sad that my camera didn't switch on time, but anyways, wow. Damn, man, these huge buildings. Huge buildings. I don't know if we can walk Sukhwaqif at night, but you know. 
Park Hayat Doha, the big hotel where the buzz is at. Wow. And this is a cafe which is open at night. I'm sure the sheikhs are enjoying their coffee there. And wow, isn't this a place you just don't want to miss? And those Saudi people that I met earlier, hey man, <laughs> the Saudi people that I met earlier, uh, since I'm from Norway, they actually wanted to come to Norway. And I was like, hey man, you guys, you guys are welcome and I'll glad you t gladly take you in. No problem, no worries at all. Let's do it, you know. And they were like, hey, Norway is the best and stuff like that. And uh, I was like, no, Norway is not the best. It's cold, it's windy, the driving conditions are really bad. And uh, yeah, so the weather in Norway is just the biggest downside. Otherwise, I think Norway would have been really nice. It's a good country though, it's a very good country. I'm happy living in Norway. So I'm not gonna say any bad things about Norway. So we are nearing, oop, look at that. Lights inside of the windows. We're nearing the Galleria here, guys. Again, the shakes that don't give a damn about you. This is nice. Mesherab at night is nice. You can really just sort of, you know, enjoy the calm wind. <clears throat> and there aren't a lot of people here as well. Wow, look at that. Water running down there. Awesome. So we're just gonna continue down there. I realize I haven't stopped the video even once, which is cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, so let me just quickly show you guys this place over here, Al Wadi Hotels in Doha. I just want you to capture how essentially wonderful this place is in all its glory. Look at all this water and stuff like that. Turn, they turn blue when I ride. Wow, I feel welcomed. I feel welcomed. Wow. Awesome, we got the Sheikh's car right there. A huge car, some kind of ready for the desert car. Uh, Coffee Arabica is open right now. We can go inside of there and buy stuff, and we probably will. So, just continuing downwards. And this right here is the Galleria, guys. So, this is where Souk Waqif starts, actually. And Souk Waqif, that's beautiful old market. Down there, as you guys see, it says Souk Waqif. And it starts down there. So let's see if, if we can actually go there and uh, check it out. Well, I gotta confess, though, that when I was walking those streets uh, outside of my Airbnb, uh, it was safe, like don't get me wrong, it was very safe, but my problem was that it was so empty that it was kind of scary if I can say the least, I don't know. And now we're in the Galleria where there are small coffee shops and awesome places. And now we're arriving to Souk Waqif, these are the stairs up Souk Waqif, so I'll just walk a little fast so that we don't come in the way of anyone. Oh wow, Souk Waqif man, it's still as like, hey how you doing man, how you doing, you Qatari, Qatari, oh that's awesome man, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm Nor Norwegian, Norwegian. Norwegian. <laughs> Norwegian. Yeah, nice to meet you. Shukran, I take care of you. Uh oh. Inshallah, the Qatar will be here. Inshallah, she'll catch us here. Inshallah, inshallah. Where are you from? From where? I'm from uh, Norway. 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 Europe, very far away. Cold. Ma <laughs> minus 20 degrees. Wallah, <laughs> na'am. Wallah, it's crazy. Yeah, marhaba, mashallah. Well, thank you so much, my man. 
Thank you, huh? It was nice meeting you. Thank you. <laughs> well, first time I've met a cuttery person. That's awesome. Well, we got uh, got ourselves some restaurant actions going on. Wow, isn't Sook Walking is alive at night, man? I didn't think so. So, guys, lesson learned. Do not believe Google Maps a single bit because Google Maps will tell you that the stuff is closed, but they aren't closed. Wow. Look how beautiful Sukwak is at night. I'm truly stunned by this place, to be honest. I really am. And there's something about this that really gives me some kind of nostalgic vibes. I just want to be here, like I don't want to leave from here, you know, all the time. That's Sukwaka. Wow, it's so lively right now. So many people here. Hello, man. <laughs> I just feel special when the shakes look at me, shake their head, or like, hey, how are you? Because that's the only thing they can really say to a foreigner. <laughs> they don't have the need to learn the English language because they're just simply so rich, you know. Hey man, how are you? <laughs> Feel like a small little celebrity. Everybody's looking at you. You're talking to yourself, to the camera. People understand that this is a vlogging world. Hey man, how are you? <laughs> wow, we got the Fanar Mosque. <clears throat> In the building, sorry, in the front there, as you can see, that's the Fanar Mosque. Wow. Like, it's, it's almost close. Hello, guys. How are you? How are you? It's almost close to midnight, and it's, it is midnight. It's, it's 1 p.m. right now, or 1 a.m. This is the... Hey, guys. How are you? Hi. Awesome. <laughs> From where? From where? Oman, Oman, I love Oman. I will visit next year, inshallah. inshallah Very inshallah. nice. <laughs> Take care, man. Cool, cool, awesome. Omani people. You see, everybody loves Qatar. Oop, got a kitten there. Oh, cute. Ah, we're at Sukwak. If you know, actually, I wasn't really planning on going so far away from my Airbnb, but you know, I couldn't resist tea time we got some different hey guys, hey guys. how are you doing I'm good. are you going from where you Oman Emirat Emirat yes. UAE Dubai right yes. Dubai awesome Burj Khalifa yeah that's awesome have a nice day guys or a nice night I should say wow awesome just look at this place at night it's just so lively it's 1 a.m. right now or 1 yeah, midnight, basically. <laughs> and literally, people are chilling in the restaurants. Wow, man. Lovely. Lovely. Sukwak is, is lovely. I mean, it's not as lively as it was at like 6 p.m., but damn, it's still a lot of people here, you know? So... I guess lesson learned, do not believe Google Maps a single bit. Because Google Maps will tell you that Sukwakif is closed, even though it's actually not closed at all. Hey man. Hello. <laughs> wow, man. Look at how lively this place is at night. Ah, maybe we should sit down somewhere and have a have a snack or something like that just to sit down and enjoy the nighttime a little bit oh these are the magical lamps starting to emerge I think this is the market wow the rich shakes and the Fanar mosque almost arriving wow look at this oh, soup walking at night man it's so lively. I think Sukhu Akif is just a place where you can just be like any time of the day to come and just, you know, sit back and enjoy your life, basically. And guys, we got the Fanar Mosque right there. 
in its all glorious colors. Gotta zoom in there, wow, look at that. So awesome. Well guys, that was basically Mesherab and Souk Waqif at night, Qatar at night. And uh, it's now accepted and confirmed that Qatar is actually a very safe place because you can see how people are just having the time of the day. Hey guys, how are you? Fine? Awesome. <laughs> you see so lively people. Oh my God. I'm having the time of a life right now. Okay, we're, we're seeing the, right now seeing the Doha skyline. Do I want to go to the Corniche? Nah, I think I'll drop it. I'll probably meet one of those Dow boats guys. We'll say that, sir, please ride. Sir, please, only 60 riyals, please. You know, and the actual price is like 25 or something. <laughs> wow. Cool, so cool. Oh man, I can't believe it. 1 a.m., guys, it's 1 a.m. And uh, I'm walking, I walked through Souk Waqif and Mesherab, and uh, when I met the people, my anxiety just vanished. It goes to show how important it is to have good energy around you. <sighs> wow, look at the colors of this hotel. Very beautiful. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, where are you guys from? Qatar. Qatar, you're Qatar, all of you. Awesome, man. Have a nice night. <laughs> oh, I don't think they were, I don't believe they were Qatari. They didn't look like Qatari people. Qatari people don't know how to speak English. But who cares, you know? We're here nonetheless. Well, I gotta say, guys, Souk Waqif at night. Just wonderful beautiful and amazing and lively nonetheless there's so much life here at this part of the day a bunch of people gathered here i think it's because they're in front of the camera or something hey man how are you how are you how are you alhamdulillah <laughs> i'm amazing man <laughs> awesome 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 there you have it guys that's so Waqif at night so there's so much life here i hope you guys enjoyed this i sacrificed my sleep in order to get this done good. hey how are you doing man so now it's all done and now i'm gonna enjoy myself so have a nice night y'all you guys won't even believe what happened i met a cutlery person <laughs> he was like hey let me buy you a coffee i was like yeah hey, okay and i was like yo I'm checking out girls and stuff. And I was like, you're really checking out girls? He was like, yeah, I'm married, I have four kids. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro, this guy want to live life. But yeah, nice hosp country hospitality. And I asked him, are you rich? And he was like, yes, yes, very rich, very rich. Allah Kareem, Allah Kareem, which means Allah has mercy on us. And the thing is, he didn't want to get filmed because he didn't want his family to see and understand that because these people are very strict on that front. So I completely understand. Oh, I'm enjoying here right now. 